so let's do another word problem here. Another, well, this is like geometry, right? Talking about rectangles. So if it's a rectangle, should I draw a triangle? No. Is this with the Pythagorean theorem? No. Probably not. It's a rectangle. It's talking about how the base and the height relate to each other. And when we had these problems before, we talked about how the base and the height or length and the width related to each other. We were also talking about perimeter. But this is a little bit different. Now since we are talking about base and height, I don't need to define my variables as long as I stick to B and H. So a rectangle has a base that's three feet longer than its height. So if this is my height and this is my base, how is my base related to the height? What does my base equal? It is what? Three feet longer than the height. How do you write that? It's the height plus three. Do you agree? So I have a way to represent each side using the same variable, in this case h for the height. Now it says the area is 54 square feet. What is the area for a rectangle? What's the formula? Base times height. It's the base times the height, right? I've got three unknowns. So I've got the area, the base, and the height. But I think I know something about these guys, right? What's my area? My area is given to me as 54. How do I want to represent my base? But I don't want to have two different variables. I want to have it as one single variable. And I already said that my base was the same as h plus 3, right? Oh, yeah. Remember, the guy that I know absolutely nothing about in this problem is my h, is my height. So my area was 54 square feet. My base is the height plus 3. I've got an equation here for me to solve, so what's going to, what's going to be my next step? Well, you know what you got to do. I, I've got to do something with this stuff over here on the right side. I've got to distribute that, and what do I get? H squared plus 3H. H squared plus 3H. What type of equation do you see here? Is this quadratic? where I have to use the zero factor theorem, or is it linear, where I just get a h on one side and constants on the other? Linear? No, it's not going to be linear, because look, you've got an exponent here. That means you're going to have to solve it using quadratic methods. You're going to have to factor this guy if you can. So what's going to be the way I'm going to get zero on one side? What's the best way to do this? Take 54 to the other side. Move 54 to the other side. So when I do that, I've got 0 is equal to h squared plus 3h minus 54. It equals 0, so now I need to do what? Factor. How does this factor? It's a trinomial with no common factor other than 1, so I expect it to break down as two binomial factors. What are those factors? Tell you what, I'll give you a hint. Oh, it wasn't good enough for you, huh? I'll give you another hint. You've got to multiply to get a negative 54, so you have to have a positive and a negative. What are the numbers you multiply to get 54? Nine and six. Nine and six. Since you need to have a positive middle term, the larger factor must be positive, so positive nine minus six. Does that work out? So when I solve this, I find that h must equal what? Negative 9 or h equals what? Six. h equals 6. Now wait, what is h representing in this problem? h is supposed to represent the height of my rectangle, so something's not quite right here. What is it? You can't have a negative value for your height, at least not when we're talking about this two-dimensional figure here of the, of the base. You can't talk about negative height, like you know, below sea level. So there is application for that, but not in this problem. So no negative height. So it means my h is 6, right? But the question says, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? 
when I say dimensions of a geometric figure, we're talking about, in this case, you know, base times height, length by width. And so we can just simply say that the dimensions are what? Now you can say the width is and the height is, or you can just say this. The dimensions are, what's your base? If h is 6, that's going to be 9. So this is going to be 9 feet by, what's your height? By 6 feet, right? Now, does that match up? Yes. If you have something that's 9 feet by 6 feet, that's going to give you 54 square feet, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see that, of course, the base is going to be 3 feet longer than the height. Bless you. 